Hello guys and welcome to the Google Sites training. In this training you're going to learn everything you need to know about creating your own Google website. And uh, take a look here, we've got 20 tasks on this page. Starting with just the basic creating a site and using templates. And then we go all the way down to number 40 where we, where we review and publish our site. So, you know, hang out with me here and we're going to go over everything you need to know. You're going to be able to, you know, master and create your your, your own personal website that you love and you could share with everybody so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna start with number one over here which is a uh, create a site and uh, we'll take a look at using templates uh, so first off one way to get to Google sites is, is just to type in Google sites okay and here it is right at the top make sure it says google.com so I'm clicking uh, Google sites sign in because in the Google sites website here you can take a look at the template gallery which is going to do all the legwork for you it's really important that, that you um, take a look at this uh, template here so I clicked the little template thing and you can see all the things they offer you so you have like work websites if you have events up here recently used club help center a small business dog walker personal and then right down here we have education so we're gonna focus on a, a classroom website but uh, you can also do student portfolios clubs and things like that so if I click a uh, class here it's gonna take me to a website a website template and and here we are okay so that's one way to get there but I just want to show you another way real quick if you're in your Google Drive you can get to a Google Sites by clicking new scrolling down to more and then clicking right here to Google Sites or you can hit the Google Apps icon and you can find sites here okay and you can click on this and it'll open up and uh, take you to Google Sites as well and we've taken care of create a site now we have to name the site and the document okay name the site and the document they're a little bit different here okay so um, up at the top here this is the site the site document name okay so if you take a look um, I'm gonna name this I, and I think it's best to keep it the same we'll call this uh, chemistry so we're gonna call this uh, Mr. Avella's class okay and that's our site document name and now we want to name the site itself okay up here is 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 what the viewer of the website is going to see they're not going to see this title Mr. Vell's website but I think it's good to keep it the same so I'm gonna click here and I'm able to edit this because I click the template version so I'm gonna type in Mr. Avella's chemistry class okay and just click out there and now you can see I've I've labeled the class website so we've just named the site and the document okay now we're gonna go to our title page okay so this is the was the document up here this is the site name now the title page you can find right here so let's call this 101 109 actually we've got our document name our website name and our title page name okay next is very cool now we want to add a logo to our website a logo to our website and the logo is gonna make our website very unique and very interesting and I love to use bitmoji so I'm, I'm gonna use a bitmoji so if you wanna add a logo you can go up here to where it says settings and then when it says brand images logos kinda of like your brand um, it says right here you can select a logo image and I'm gonna hit upload okay you can select one if I hit select I'll show you um, you know you can search your I mean you can go and do Google image search for let's say chemistry if you want to pick something here however I want to use my own personalized one and I suggest you do the same to, to make this website your own and I've clicked on my downloads I'm gonna select my image and there's my little bitmoji that, that you see everywhere okay and just real quick just take a look up here it says that um, it's auto saved so you just have to add it in okay you have here alternative text if, if you'd like to add um, alternative text is accessed by screen readers for people who have trouble seeing your content but uh, we're just gonna for the most part you just really need to have this logo so now I'm gonna go back 
and you can see right here look at it there's our logo okay so it's very cool it's in the upper left hand side it's it's uh, personalized and and uh, it you know represents me so i you know i recommend using a bitmoji okay next is pretty cool it's it's a a favicon okay it's called and i hope i'm pronouncing this right so a favicon for example is if you take a look up here okay you see where it says biology 101 okay um, you can see like a little picture of myself on, on the side right here. So I'm going to click this Biology 101. Just so you can see what a favicon looks like. And up here in the top, okay, you can see a picture, like a little image, okay, that, that goes with, with the website page. Okay, do you see, you see how with Google Drive up here, you've got the little Google Drive icon. If I were to go to, let's say, a math websites, here's the the math website uh, uh, Cuda software and they have their own little favicon up here which is like a, a little I don't know look like a little back button and even if you look at my bookmarks here you can see Google Classroom has a favicon this is the website we're working on I'll go to settings and if I want to add a favicon I'm going to brand images I'm gonna go down so here's the favicon and you know for the time being I'll just keep it the same as my logo in this case Although I, I do think it's good to have different ones just to make your website stand out a little bit. So again, I had clicked upload because I'm uploading one from my desktop. I'm going to my downloads. And you can see down here it says uploading image. And there it is. Okay. Now, uh, just a heads up, you're not going to see this favicon up here like I did in the previous website like you see up here in the biology because it's not published yet. So once we publish it, it'll, it'll, you'll be able to see. It. You have to view it in its published uh, in its published uh, setting. Okay, so we'll get to that. You'll see it. Okay, so we've just went over our favicon, and now we're going to focus on choosing some themes for our website, right? We now we want to make it colorful, make it look nice. So we're working on Mr. Vell's chemistry, and if you want to um, change up the theme a little bit, you can go to the right here. Okay, and I'm clicking themes. And I'll show you the difference here. Now the themes have to have to do with the, the, the text, the writing. Okay. So here's here's what we have, and I'm gonna change it up. Take a look at diplomat. Okay. You can see impression, which is the one we previously had. Um, Aristotle. It's it's yours for the choosing. Level, vision, but we'll stick with impression. And I've just noticed chemistry is spelled wrong. I suck at spelling. Now um, you can also within themes, I just want to show you, you can change the fonts and the colors. Okay, so I'm going to go back to chemistry class and if you notice here, uh, this chemistry thing is yellow, but uh, chemistry, chemistry to me always has like a red vibe. So you know, we've, we're on impression. Okay, now let's just say we have vision. Whichever one you pick, you can change right here the color. Okay, so I'm here on impression. I'm going to scroll down a bit and I'm going to make this like a red, okay? And you can also change the font style. So very very low here down down at the bottom right you can see font style. I'm going to click it and you can you've got three different choices. Uh, Frank's my name here, it's one of them. Um take a look at narrow. Take a look at capital. And take a look at Frank. And I'm going to go with capital, okay? All right, now now we're getting to some cool stuff. Now we're gonna do menu style, okay? Menu style. Okay, up here at the top, this is the menu, okay? Uh, all right, the menu is right here at the top. Now, when you go to website, sometimes they'll have menus at the top, sometimes they'll have it at the side. So it's really your choice. And and if you want to, you know, edit and, edit and change this menu, you can simply go here to the little gear icon, okay? And then where you see navigation, you see where it says mode, you can see it kind of like the little black thing at the top. If I change from top, I can change it to side and watch what happens right here to the left. Now you see this these three little lines that, that like you know represent a little hamburger. Okay, you can click this and now you see the menu pops up on the side, okay? And then you'd be able to, you know, go through pages and you know, we're going to get to pages. Okay, so that's a side menu. Um, I'm gonna go back because I actually like and you can see here where it says mode now notice that the, this little black line this menu is now on the side um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna select top okay because I like it on I like it on the top 
and everything's auto saved so here's our menu um, you could also change the color of the menu all right so again right to get to menu I hope we remember you just go here to this little gear icon and first we chose the mode now we can change the color um, I like I like black I, I think black is great it always makes things stand out so I'm gonna select black here and it's auto saved I mean you have the option again to go with white I mean the you know the logo stands out a little bit better on white um, and you can go transparent as well um, but uh, I'm gonna go with black for now okay next take a look at header types I'm gonna explain to you you know what a header type is uh, so take a look at this web page so we have a website with, with different links here and the first page here's everything in the first page you know we're gonna build and, and use this here and at the very very top this this whole little section right here is actually called the header okay and all your information should be below which we're gonna add in as we go along okay so now if you take a look here okay all I have to do is really just go into this and just put I just gotta really hover over it and if I go to header type okay I'm able to choose between four different ones and I'm just gonna give you a look at all of them so first is the uh, cover which we're selected right uh, first is the large banner which we have right now and then you can go to banner take a look okay it's a little bit shorter but notice title only okay now you really don't see that image in the background and you could even go with cover okay and it's really big and again you can go to header type and you can go to large banner and go back and forth now um, this is, might be the most important thing I, I teach you here is the undo redo undo redo okay um, I'm going back to our website and if you notice here the header background now looks like uh, I don't know it looks like a map of the, the earth and things like that and maybe you want to get that picture back you can go and go to you know change image but the most important thing you could learn from this thing is that right up here is an undo so it undoes the last action and many times you're gonna you know do something that you think might look cool and then you say you know what damn I, I don't want that you want to undo what you just did so so you're gonna hit this little undo last action and it'll you know it'll take you back to the beginning take a look I mean you know and you go right where you want and, and we're right here and this is redo okay redo undo undo redo these two buttons are your most important important buttons most important thing I could teach you in this whole training okay now preview site okay so here we are again and okay so maybe you're looking at this thing and you're saying to yourself well you know what <sighs> yeah I see it but like you know it, it's it's not the same I, I want to see what it looks like you know what the students are gonna see what their parents are gonna see so this is also important here right if you look at the very top right next to the undo and the redo you'll see this this little icon and this is the preview so I'm gonna click this here and now you can see what it looks like okay if you know to anybody who's you know on the web looking at, at this at this website and it gives you a full clear picture and what's very important is if you look down here it gives you what what this website's going to look like through different um you know different electronics so right now here it says a large screen so this is like a this is like a computer screen and here it says tablet so let's click this this is what it's going to look like like on an ipad and if you go down here you guessed it i mean that's the cell phone and the cell phone's an important one okay all right so we previewed the site now we're going to look at some images in the headers okay so so here we are back at our, our chemistry uh, our, our front page basically and here you can see uh, here's the header and it provides us with a, a nice little image of uh, you know students uh, working looks like working on some you know working on I don't know art or something like that and maybe you like this image you want to keep it but maybe you want to have a different one because you know it's you want to make things unique and you want to make it your own website you can go right down here to change image and then you have the option to upload an image from your own your own computer so maybe you have a something in the downloads or you have something in a desktop that you want to add that's perfectly fine however um, you could also select an image that's already you know that that you don't have in your computer and take a look up here 
we're on gallery so you know Google provides some pretty cool examples um, maybe you like this one or this one okay you can search by URL and um, search the web don't forget you can do your Google Drive maybe you have your own there but I'll just do search the web and let's type in chemistry maybe you go with this one let's take a look and you know that doesn't look bad but again if there's you know if you ever have a problem you can always go back and you know hit undo okay so it, it's you know it's really up to you actually I like that one I'll, I'll, I'll leave this one like this okay so we've you know taken care of our images in the headers uh, this one's pretty cool edit footnotes okay I, I like this one here so footnotes um, so here's our, our chemistry website and uh, footnotes are at the bottom right like the feet the bottom and because we have a template you know we have the 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 footer here okay this is why I said it's great to use a template we're gonna hit edit footer and take a look okay I mean it, it basically tells you what to do you could put your name and put you put your email X you know at you know whatever whatever dot com you know put your school and then you know you put your phone number here but don't you know if you're a teacher you probably don't want to put your personal phone number X uh, and you know there there's your footer okay and um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make this thing stand out a little bit it's gonna go to my next section here which is a section backgrounds okay section backgrounds so let's go back to the website and here's the footer and it's uh, you can tell it's like a clear white and sometimes I like the footer to match with with the top okay so the top is a uh, is black so I, I'd like the bottom to match as well so maybe this footer I'll click my edit my footer and if you ever want to change the background you can just go where it says section background it looks like a little palette like a little you know artist palette select the artist palette and then you can you know you can change it up here you can go emphasis emphasis one you can go regular you can go image and select an image maybe I'll go to search Type in black color. Select my image. And there you have it. Matches the top. Okay. So uh, next up is to duplicate and delete sections. Duplicate and delete sections. Let's take a look here, right? So this here is our class overview section. And then we have a little picture. And then we have an about me section. Things like that. So let's say you want to duplicate this about me section. You have like a co-teacher, let's just say. And do you want them to have an about me too? You want to have both of you guys on the first page. Um, all you got to do is click a section. And clicking sections are just easy. You just click, you know. This Google Sites has come a long way. It used to be really rough. I'm so happy with, it, with what they've done. So I'm going to click this little section here. You can see this whole thing, you know, uh, kind of highlighted. And this little it looks like two pages that's always the duplicate thing so I'm just gonna click this right here to duplicate and take a look I mean now you have I've duplicated the about me section so maybe you have the first teacher here and then the co-teacher you could throw a paraprofessional on there if, if she wants to be on it or he want or he wants to be on it, either one and you know you can always delete sections too um, you know I just created this I can hit the delete section or maybe here on the first page I have resources um, maybe you want to create your own resource page I want to get rid of this so again I'm just going to click the select you know I'm just going to click this section and instead of hitting the duplicate I'm going to hit this little trash can and the trash can always means delete so I'm going to hit that and you could see that's been deleted next up so we've just done this one here next up is to drag and move sections okay you can drag and move sections as well so here we are and if you take a look you've got class overview on the front okay and then we've got the about me section and the resources and maybe you want to switch it up right maybe you want to have the about me section at the top all I'm doing is clicking on the section and if you see right here it looks like a bunch of little dots this is for where you can grab something and move it so I'm taking this here and I'm moving it all the way up and I'm putting the about me section right there so now I'm in the front 
and and you know the first thing is is I can tell you a little about myself and maybe you don't want that maybe you want the about me to be all the way down here so I'm just dragging and moving it all the way down to the bottom now and now we're gonna get into something important just edit template okay we're gonna edit the template so go back to my website and we've got this chemistry 109 and, and now it's time to start putting the work in so it says class overview so if I want to edit and make this thing my own all I have to really do is just it's so easy just you just click on a, on this on a section or a text box and just write over it so the first thing I don't like is I don't like this overview it's really small it's a lowercase O so I'm gonna make that a capital O and then I could just go over that um, the text it says normal text maybe I make a heading make it a little bit bigger okay I'm editing this I'm gonna make this my own class overview it says what are the learning objectives well I have to write this in I'm gonna put here in chemistry about the changes all around us I have experiments okay although you know mr. Pignatello says I I, I, don't, I don't think they let it I don't think they let us do experiments anymore because of uh, you know social distancing and whatnot actually I think they stopped doing experiments a, a while ago just for safety which is really sad but uh, you get the picture so you know that's one way to edit and then you go down here and, and right you got the about me and then you know you could put about put your name about Mr. Avella and you know tell a little bit about yourself here Mr. Avella etc 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 so that's edit the templates all right next up is inserting links okay let's say you want to insert links into your website and again here we are on the first page and if you go down there's actually a section here for links so um you know if you want to insert a link here it says student sites type in whatever you want to you know whatever you want the link to say so maybe you'll say math practice okay and then to insert a link okay you can highlight it and click this little insert link here and you can insert a link here I'm, I'm gonna copy a link to this math worksheet thing and just paste it in okay now you see it says math practice here and here's the link below here's the text the text means what it's gonna show up what people's gonna see and the link is the actual link down here you have to hit apply and notice there's like a line underneath okay that means it's linked when you see that little line underneath so people can click here and then they can go right to their link okay um, um, you could also have a link to a different page or you could link to within your website you could put you know home page here or you could put schedule page and one way to do it is just to click this little insert link here link page schedule hit apply and then you know it does it for you so that that you know you could link to pages and I'll click here to schedule and take a look you'll notice here that it's taking me to the to the schedule page alright um, this is important here to add edit and replace images okay you want to have images on your on your uh, on your website because it's gonna bring it to life okay now you don't have just too much writing it's gonna look boring you gotta have good images so class overview here in chemistry we're gonna learn about changes in matter around us so here's a great place to let's say add an image now one way you can do it is um, you can add it to using the template so these are placeholders right here which I'll get to later and you could just click on this and, and add an image using this placeholder so I'm gonna click here and show you one way select image okay you can upload one from your computer if you have but we'll go to select image and I'm gonna go to Google image search type in experiment and fire you want to make it look cool a little bit and this looks like a cool one insert and that's pretty cool right and and you know there's one image of a fire remember it says add edit and replace okay so I can also edit this image okay if, if I want to so first I've inserted it now I can if I want to I can crop this image okay if you take a look here okay I can zoom in and crop it okay so that's one thing you can do okay so the crop image is here okay if you want to uncrop it you can always do that as well remember there's always the ability to undo anything you did 
um, you can link this image if you want okay um, you can delete it or if you hit these three little dots here the more editing this is the snowman you could replace it so replacing an image is, is, is important as well so take a look down below like this right here this isn't me okay I, you know so I'm gonna want to replace this guy and I'm gonna go here I'm gonna hit more editing options and I would go to you know I hit the little snowman those three dots replace image and I would go to if it's an image of myself I would go to upload because I would have an image of myself on the you know on, on my computer although you might find an image of me on, on the web you know in, in a Google search I know I have my bitmoji image I can always go back to my bitmoji um, although you wouldn't want to have a bitmoji here you'd want to have you know like a real picture of yourself but I'm just I'm just using that for now so that's replacing image again right you you select the image you go to more options and then you could replace okay something cool you could always add a caption underneath although I already have my name you can just go to a little caption you could go with you know it says hi hello everyone so you know that was you know that was adding editing and deleting images that were already you know with placeholders but you can also just add an image almost anywhere you want so if I scroll all the way down to like if I just want to add an image here and there's no you know no placeholder or no nothing I can go to insert okay so you know I have this thing selected I go to insert and I can just go right here to image select you know go to my Google search uh, welcome yeah I like this one down here insert and then you know I just pop that in okay so you can always at any section all right, so listen, we're halfway done here, okay? And we've done basically just the basic stuff. Um, it's going to get a little bit more tricky, all right? So, you know, we're going to go from now. We're going to go from 20, 21 to 40. Hang, hang in here with me because you're going to be a master of this stuff. You're going to have a beautiful website, okay? There's a lot of cool stuff I still want to go over, all right? So, you know, we're going to keep it going. Let's get to it. Um, next up, at number 21, is to create uh, web pages and sub pages within your, within your website. If you take a look up here at the top, you'll see some pages that are already created for us. One says schedule and newsletter, but uh, perhaps you'd like to create some new pages, okay? And on the right-hand side, you can see right here where it says pages. And to create a new page, for example, like I said, we have our home page, schedule and newsletter. To create a new page, you're just going to hit this little add, okay, down there. It says new page. You can click that, and you could title the page. So let's title this, let's say, Experiments, and then you can hit Done. And now you can see right up here at the top, you have a new page called Experiments, okay? Um, you can also create subpages. So maybe I want to create a subpage under Experiments, and I'm hitting these three little dots here, the snowman, okay? And I'm going to hit Add Subpage. And now my subpage would be um, lab reports. And I'm going to hit done. And now you can see it's nested underneath experiments right here. So here's experiments and you see that lab reports is nested underneath. Even if you look at the top on the menu bar, okay, you'll notice there's a little arrow next to experiments, which lets us know that there are subpages. And you can create even more subpages. Let's say, for example, you want to create a subpage to a website with links to experiments or something like that. Now, let's say you would like to add a linked page. So we have experiments and we've got a subpage. Now, maybe we want to insert a link to like the top 10 experiments, which I have up here. Okay, I'm going to add, I'm going to go down to new page and I'm going to go actually to new link. So I'm adding a linked page, which is like outside. And where it says link, I can go to my 10 cool experiments, copy this, gonna copy it, go back, and under link, I'm going to enter in the, uh, I'm going to enter in the link, and I'll name this, let's say, top 10 experiments, top 10 experiments, and before I do this, you see this little box is checked off, this is if I want to open it in a new tab, um, and I, I'll leave that checked off. Now look to the right here. This is a, a linked experiment here. Um, notice it's on its own page. If I want to nest it, I'm just going to grab this, kind of place it inside the experiments, and now you can see it's nested underneath. And now I've got 
top 10 experiments. This is a link page, and notice it's going to redirect me to there. And I would click this, and there I go. So we have created uh, pages and subpages. Now it's time to manage the site's pages. So um, one thing you can do, I think you've seen it before, is I've been dragging and dropping. Take a look here. I'm taking this schedule page, and I'm moving it underneath newsletter. And you can see it switches up here. Um, if you make a mistake or something like that, you can hit these three little dots, the snowman, and you can delete that page. Okay, let's hit delete, and you can see it's been deleted up here. I can press undo, and you see the newsletter page is back. Okay, we've already went over adding a, excuse me, we went over adding a linked page. Um, we have our home page here, which you can click which is our chemistry homepage with the overview, but you can make other pages the homepage. So if I take this experiment thing and hit the three little dots, the snowman, I can go make homepage. Okay, now experiments has the little homepage icon. Okay, I don't recommend, you know, I, I think they do a good job of creating your own homepage. One tip I'm going to give you is don't try to, you know, use what they give you. Don't don't get, I don't want to say don't get creative, you know, it's, it's, it sounds bad, but they do a good job with the templates. And um, I have a template I'm going to link below, one that I use, and um, you can, you know, build off that and everything. If you click this again, you can actually duplicate a page, which, which comes in handy a lot. So if I hit duplicate, it's going to say copy of experiments, go with done. And, you know, duplicating a page is great because you'll have a template and you can, you know, if maybe you're doing a unit plan page, you want to do another unit page. So, I mean, you have unit one and then you could copy that page and duplicate it, you know, and just hit it again, duplicate and do unit three, unit four, and it'll save you a lot of time. Um, even this page right here, copy of experiments you see here, maybe you want to hide it from the menu. So, if I hit the snowman, I can go hide from navigation. And it's gone. It's still there, but notice it has this little line through it because now it's hidden. Okay, it's hidden. So this is basically managing pages. Okay, I think we went over a lot. Okay, next up is important. Add and edit text. Add and edit text. So we're in our experiments page. Okay, and, and let's uh, let's build this here. Okay, there's really nothing here. So um, let's say you want to um, just add some text. We're going to go to insert. We're going to go to text box. And there it is it pops right up so first off if you take a look here it says normal text it really shows you the different sizes okay so normal text is you know kind of small and this kind of gives you an idea what it is we'll hit with the title and we'll say um mr 2021 okay mr Vell's experiments for 2021 and i've chose the title and let me just show you the difference here right if headings a little bit smaller smaller but we want this to be, you know, a big. It's going to be our title. And you can also make this bold. You can make it italicized. And you can center it. Okay. I'm going to take the italicized off and the bold. I, I think it looks good like that. I can add a link to it. And I can clear, clear the formatting, whatever it is. So um, you can always add text. Okay. You can add it anywhere. And then I can just go down here. Right, so I've selected this. And, you know, if I want to add more text, I can go to text box and there you go um maybe i want to make smaller text like uh, let's say uh, just a heading for example all the experiments safe for all students okay so all the experiments in mr vell's classroom are 100 percent safe for all students okay so here's your title and maybe you want to give a i don't know a little disclaimer let's make it a subheading so again, just to add text, you just hit that little thing right there. Now this is important, add section layouts. Section layouts, okay? So whenever you're building a page, you, you wanna save yourself some work, okay? So if you look down here, um, you I, I can add images and text box and things like that, but if you go to insert, okay, we were on pages, now we're on insert, and you look down where it says layout, they give you some cool options to, to sort of choose from. Where it kind of, you know, uh, kind of sets you up for success for success let's say um, so you can choose here a different layout and let's say I choose this one now it's already got a text box it's got you know some here so I can add a video so um, we'll type in here carbon snake which is a famous experiment to the left 
is a video of experiment. Okay. And maybe I want to make this a little bit bigger. Let's just say. There you go. So now we've got the carbon snake. Okay. And what we have here is a placeholder. And again, these layouts, it really does the work for you. So I can click this. And then, you know, I can add an image image of the carbon of, uh, of an experiment that I did of the carbon snake experiment. I could add a YouTube video. Um, I'll click the YouTube video for now. Type in carbon snake. And here it is, the sugar experiment. I'm going to hit select. And, I mean, there you go. Okay. So our experiments page is already looking pretty cool. And then obviously, you know, they can click this, whoever's on this website, and they can see the carbon snake. And again, right, these layouts, they really make a difference. So, you know, we have this one here. Maybe you want to do this one now. And then you want to add other experiments. You know, you want to add, let's say, elephant toothpaste. You want to add uh, Mentos. And you want to add something like uh, Perfume Lab. Okay. And these are just some more experiments you can just add to it. Because this is a layout, they, they've already got these placeholders where you can add images. And maybe here I'm going to click the select image right now. Elephant toothpaste experiment. Select an image. Insert. And take a look. And you can see how nice this, this it's already turning out. Elephant toothpaste. All right, so we've done section layouts. Uh, something cool here is collapsible text, okay? Collapsible text. So I'm going to go back to, to the chemistry thing, and, and let's go down here. And let's say you want to add collapsible text, and I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So again, you're going to go to Insert, right? Uh, insert, scroll down, and the first one here is collapsible text. Okay, so um, that's like when you push the, the little icon, and then all stuff underneath pops up, and I'll show you what it looks like here. So let's say um, list of experiments, period. And we'll center this. And this is your title. Okay, notice the little arrow. And then here it says click to edit text. Um, maybe you want to number it. So you want to do your experiments. And you could say uh, potassium, alkaline metals, et cetera, and so forth. Maybe you want to make this a little bigger. Okay. Okay, and take a look here at this little arrow. When you click the arrow, it pops up. Okay, the, you can see here it says collapsible. Okay, now and now it's not collapsible. Okay, you can undo that again, make it collapsible. And let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, so again, I'm hitting the preview. So let's see what it looks like. That's the front page, and it's looking pretty cool. You know, we want to add some images, but it's looking really nice. And you see here where it says list of experiments in the first marking period. This little arrow is the collapsible. You hit it to expand. And then here you've got some of the experiments in the first marking period. Potassium, titration, density, coffee extraction, things like this. And, and now, you know, it's collapsible up and down. It opens and closes, opens and closes. Okay. So that was collapsible text. Uh, next is image carousels. Okay. I want so here's the home page, and let's say we want to add an image carousel. So here's an image we have, okay, of the classroom. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this here, okay, and now I'm going to add an image carousel. So to do that, okay, I'm on pages, I'm on insert, okay, this is my section here, and I'm going to hit image carousel, okay. And what the, an image carousel does is it scrolls, through, it's one placeholder, and you get to scroll between many many different images so I'll start with uh, select an image and I'm gonna go to image search and I'm just gonna type in and I'm gonna select different images okay I selected five different images I hit insert and again image carousels right here on the right hand side I went to insert image carousel these pictures are uploading I hit insert and you can see them, okay? Remember, we hit image carousel. I'm going to move this over. You can actually drag these things and move them all. I'm going to try to center it. If you see these little dots here, that means it's going to scroll through those different images, okay? So, again, this is the image carousel. I'm going to hit this thing here so we see what it looks like. Scroll down. 
and okay there's our image carousel notice the arrow so I can go back and forth to check it out one picture another picture like a carousel goes you know scrolls through another picture another picture here okay this is the image carousel it's pretty cool and, and it, it adds another dimension to your to your website all right so next up to insert a calendar let's say you want to insert a calendar into your Google website I'll check out the schedule page okay and uh, they actually have a, a built-in placeholder for the calendar here so here it says calendar and maybe you want to share your Google classroom calendar you can click here it, it, this is a placeholder for a calendar so I'm gonna click here and it'll take me to calendar um, you can delete this and then just go to insert scroll down and hit calendar right down here it'll do the same thing it's gonna take you to a calendar and I can you know I can share a you know I could share a calendar to one of my classes so maybe if I'm teaching you know uh, this is my chemistry class uh, chemistry one calendar I can click this here okay and I can hit insert and here is my calendar I can move it to the middle okay um, what's really important I want to talk about is sharing permissions okay um, remember you know if you made your calendar public for all to see then you know everybody will be able to see it parents and stuff like that if you made your calendar private only those with access will be able to see okay and you know um, right now it's on agenda you know they'll it might look a little different here but you know you can filter between month and week depending on what they see and you know the person can go back and forth but remember here you know it's 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 really about what settings you choose you know do you want it, do you want it to be public or do you not want it to be public it's uh, it's up to you um, you can click here you can see the settings okay um, what do you want to show about your calendar do you want to show uh, you know the title the date now it's all up to you okay the view mode right now it's an agenda how about month this is more like it okay this is like the biggest question I get from you know whenever I do trainings I've done a lot of trainings and schools on uh, Google sites and it's like oh it doesn't look right it doesn't look right uh, you know complaining and stuff and it's like yeah you go go always go to settings and then I, I suggest month is, is the best one I always like month view I don't like week view I gotta see the whole big picture you know all right um, that's insert a calendar now you could also add documents okay add documents so let's go back here and we're on a schedule page um, let's say you want okay so here it says daily schedule and uh, they've already written it out for you which is nice but let's say you want to add your own you know daily schedule or a Google document of a daily schedule well I can go and you know I go here to insert on the right hand side and I can go to my Google Drive to look for documents or I can just click here if I'm looking for a specific type of document like if I know I'm looking for a Google Doc then I'll click this one if you know if, if I'm in drive and I'm looking I don't know what I'm looking for I just want to look for a topic or something then maybe I'll go and drive so let's do this first and say I want to add a Google document I'll click here and there's daily teacher schedule so I'm gonna click this click it hit insert and uh, you know there it is you could pull it down a little bit if you want um, a little bit smaller I mean you can always resize it take t I mean take a look okay and now I've you know I've added here a Google Doc to the daily you know here's the speech teacher schedule it's a speech teacher daily schedule um, there's one Google Doc I've added okay I could also add what else I could add a slides presentation okay again I'm clicking slides um, you know I know it's not a history we've been doing chemistry but I what let's say you want to add a history lesson you know now now we've added a slide presentation so you can add take a look again into you could add doc slide sheets a Google form okay you can take this and move it over to check it out right you can always move them over a little bit okay now you've got the history lesson here and maybe you want to even it out a little bit okay again you can always let's say you just want to add something you want to go in your drive you click here drive and then you want to you know you could filter within drive recent what have you recently used shared maybe you want to you know somebody shared something with you and you want to put that on the class website you can you know you can click that and do that as well okay all right so uh, next up is create a button 
Okay, let's say you want to create a button to take you to like a really fun, you know, a button's nothing more than a link, so you, but you can make it look cool. So you could create a button and say something like enter, you know, enter the lab and you can have students, you know, enter a virtual lab and you want to create a little button for that. Well, let's uh, let's go do that here, okay? Um, so here we are in our experiments page and I said, let's say we want to, um, you know, add a cool button. So here we've got our collapsible uh, text and you know you've got the top 10 experiments and let's say you want to say okay um let's add a button so that they can enter virtual labs or something like that well again you're going to go to inserts okay inserts where you find almost everything and you know right under image carousel you're going to find something called button so i'm just going to click button and you're going to name your button here i'll just call it enter virtual lab okay and a button is just really a link. So here's like a, a link to like some science lessons or something like that. So maybe you have a link to like some really cool virtual labs. Okay, here it says lesson plans. I'm just going to click uh, copy this link here. I'm going to go back to our website. Enter the link. Hit insert. And then there's our button. It says enter the virtual lab. Okay, so I'm going to make this a little bigger let's say. And you can move this over as well, right? I mean, I could put it down here into the virtual lab, move it over a little bit more. And there's your button. And maybe you want to look at it from the viewer's perspective. So now I'm viewing this, and you can go down here and take a look and click right here. Maybe you want to put click to enter virtual lab. So I just click this and take a look where it takes me redirecting me to that link and here is where you could have like your virtual labs and things like that so a button a button is definitely this button here is definitely a cool feature okay all right next up is an announcement banner okay that's like really used to, to welcome somebody that's new to your uh, to your class website and an announcement banner is going to come right up on the top here so to get to our announcement banner you're going to hit this uh, settings and right at the bottom you see announcement banner okay so uh, first off you can choose the color uh, you want it to stand down maybe make it a nice uh, kind of a blue and you can give a little message welcome to chemistry 109 and maybe that's the message okay um, you know you can add links you can add a button label and a link that's up to you and here's very important, right? So we're creating an announcement banner. Do you want to make this announcement on all pages or just a home page? Okay, I, I think just a home page when, when they first get there. Okay, so I'm going to click home page only. All right, so it says welcome to chemistry 109. It's blue. And remember, everything is auto saved. Let's hit X. And now we're going to view it. And you don't see anything here, right? Because it's not the home page. I'm gonna go back. Now let's hit the home page. And there's your welcome banner right at the top. Welcome to Chemistry 109. Okay, so we have it set for just the home page. Which I like it that way. Uh, next up is to add a collaborator. So you know, as a teacher, you know, sometimes you'll get a co-teacher or something like that, and you want to have a class website. Maybe you want to work with a co-teacher and you don't want to do all the work. Okay. So here's a uh, here's the here's the site that we're on. And if I want to add a collaborator, just like before, I hit this little icon, share with others. I'm going to click this here, and you can just enter the name, right? So I mean, I'll, I'll just use student for now. I'll do like student four, and I'm giving them editor access. Okay, so they're going to make changes and things like that. And you know, anytime you share something with somebody, you can leave them a little message, like. Uh, uh, Please help. Hit ascend. And now you'll see right here this person has been added and they can make changes and things like that to the website. Okay, next up, very cool, insert charts. Okay. Now, um, as a teacher, it's great to insert, to insert charts. Uh, charts are a great way to visually explain information. So maybe you want to put charts and you want to have like, a, like a, you know, your assessments that you give and you want to have a breakdown of, of all the grades. You never want to use any student's real name, but you would just want to say, you know, number of students that, you know, got an A, number of students that got a B. Maybe you want to use a pie chart 
or you want to use a bar graph, whatever. So you can insert charts as well here. And I'm going to go to, let's just use the newsletter page, for example. And it's got monthly loot newsletter and things like that. But let's say down here you want to just add a chart. Um, again, you're going to go to insert. You're going to go down. And you're going to go at the very bottom charts. Okay, and this is a little different because it's going to pull up a sheet, a Google sheet. Now, these charts that they're using are, are the ones created from your Google Sheets. Um, for example, here. Now, you can see at the top here it says Practice Sheet, but there's actually no there's no charts within Practice Sheet. So I'm not going to insert this one because nothing's, nothing's going to happen here. I, I want to insert a chart that I built from one of my Google Sheets. So if you go down, you keep looking. Let's see if I can find one here. Okay, this one right here. I'm going to click this hit insert and you could already see the charts kind of in there now the sheets not going to sh pop up just really the chart so here it is I gotta select it go to add and here you have a nice little chart okay and you could have a, you know this this is you know a line graph but you could have one of, of like a pie chart of the students work and how they did and it's a great way to you know visually represent information and next up is to use dividers okay dividers and if you look at the home page, there's like a couple different topics. You got class overview, look what's going on, about me. So maybe you want to really be organized. You're a very organized person. What you can do is, is add dividers between sections here. So like if I'm like here or something like this, or you know, here and I you know pick this thing up, I can go to my inserts and you see where it says divider. And I've I've added like a little divider here at the bottom. Okay and it separates sections. Maybe I do it here. You know, I'll go here and I'll, again, I'll hit divider. And you got a nice little divider. Okay? And maybe here as well, right? I'm going to go hit divider. And it just it just makes it a little more organized and makes it look a little bit a little bit uh cleaner, I'd say. And you keep going. And if you feel like there's just too much space in between here, you can always just delete this. And check it out right even here too if you ever feel there's too much space just hit the delete and because you know sometimes you it, it gets it's a little too spacey I feel like so those are dividers now placeholders are cool too because as you're working so here it says monthly newsletter and let's say I want to add a picture or something I, I don't want I don't know what I want to add yet or a PDF or I I, I don't know you don't know what you want to add. You can go here to placeholder. And this kind of just holds the spot for you. Okay. And then later on, you can maybe create, you know, maybe you could create a picture or you could create a newsletter and put it here. Because this placeholder, if you click this plus sign, you can add almost anything. You can add a video, a calendar, a map, an image, something from Drive. So the placeholder holds basically anything. Maybe you want to put a Google form here to sign up for the newsletter. And you could place put these placeholders anywhere. And it's good because it, it just really just, you know, it, it's there and it's to be filled for later. All right, next up, the info icon. The info icon, very cool. Okay, if you go up here to settings and then you can go down to viewer tools. So the info icon is about what the viewer is going to see. Okay, so it just basically, uh, it's on the lower left-hand side. And... Um, it has to be in a published site. So, so when your site is published, it will provide details and it'll let you know. It'll be like a little eye down here, and it'll let it'll let viewers know, um, you know, like the last time you up the, uh, updated the site and things like that. So, you want to have these things checked off. And I'll share an example of of one that that I've done before. So, here is a published site, okay? And I have right down here. This is the info icon. You see the little eye, and you can click it, and it tells you that this page, this page is last updated August 31st, 2020. And again, you found it here in settings. You went to viewer tools, and you can have it turned on or off. Uh, next up, insert maps. Insert maps. Let's go to, I don't know, schedule, let's say. Maybe you're planning a field trip. And, you know, the parents want to know how to get there. Or maybe you're, you know, in charge of a club or something. And, you know, you're going to meet somewhere and you want to provide directions. Uh, what you can do is, again, go to Insert. And if you go down here to Map, 
Okay, I'm clicking map, and then you would have to have your own. You could have your own my maps that, that you've created before. Okay, I'm gonna make a video on that. You could just enter a location, Bronx Zoo. I mean, there you go. Select, and then take a look here. Okay, I, I mean, you know, if if you know maybe a parent or, or maybe somebody wants to go somewhere and and they have their phone, they can go right here and, and they can get directions uh, let me just show you real quick remember you could zoom in zoom out scroll down here and take a look okay you can click right here and you know get directions I'll click this and it'll give me directions on how to get to where I am you know to the Bronx Zoo so I think maps are I think maps are great All right, we're, we're making our way down to the end um, rename and delete sites okay so um, here I am in in the, the class chemistry website, but it, you know, this is just one website that I have. If I want to get to a list of all my different websites, maybe I want to delete older ones and rename them and stuff. Um, what you can do is you can click this thing right here to take me to sites home. Okay, so I'm going to sites home, and then below you can see sites that I've already created. Okay, so like this one says club. So maybe this is a site that I want to rename first. So I'm going to hit the three little dots, the snowman. I'm going to hit rename. And maybe it should have been called the chess club. Okay. And then I'm renaming old sites because you might have a bunch of sites. And then maybe, you know, as time goes on, you want to get rid of a site because you don't like it or the way it looks. You can hit the three little dots, the snowman. Hit remove. And now that site's gone. Okay. But it's moved to trash. You can undo it and bring it back to life. Okay. And, you know, I, I restored that. Um, when this is in the trash, you'd find it in your trash in the Google Drive. And then you can, um, you know, restore it again. Uh, just a heads up, you know, trash in the Google Drive will be there for 30 days and then it will be deleted permanently. Um, so that's renaming and deleting sites. Now let's say you want to duplicate your site. Duplicate. All right. So we were working on the, the chemistry one here. Uh, so here's our site. And I can hit these three little dots more if I want to duplicate. And then I just hit here, duplicate site. And it's going to make a whole nother copy of it. And listen, if, if you're teaching like, you know, chemistry and a chemistry honors and an AP chemistry, you might want to duplicate sites and just make little changes, okay? And as you duplicate the site, you can maybe change the name here. So it's Mr. Vell's chemistry class. You could do uh, chemistry honors. Something like that. Um, I'm not going to go through with this, but I, but you know that's the step here, right? The, the more icon, the snowman, and then duplicate. All right, we're almost done. We got two more left. Okay, version history. Now we're getting to the very end here. And before you publish your site, you might say, you know what? I wanted, I liked it the way it was earlier on, and I like it this way. You can always go back and restore your history. Um, anytime you feel like it and this is with all Google Docs okay so I'm gonna hit more and you can go to version history and take a look here I mean these are all the changes that, that, that we've done here okay this this is a, a biology site that I'm using now not, not the one you know we were working with the chemistry one I'm switching a little bit here with the biology so you can see all the different dates and changes so I can go back and I can click this one, and it's going to show me what it was like on August 28th at 7 2, at uh, 7 02. And then at any time, maybe that's, I'm like, you know what, I wanted what it was that time. You can, you know, name that version. Um, if I click restore this version, this website will change, you know, it, it, it'll publish it at this time. You know, it, it'll publish it at August 28th. And it's always good to name it because maybe you can't remember it. You can say uh, uh, best draft or something. Okay, I mean, and then if you restore this version, I mean, you'd bring it back to life at that point. And here's the last one, review and publish site. We're almost done here. So I'm going to go back to the chemistry one that we were working with. And when you're ready, okay, you want to publish this site. You want to publish it right here. You're going to hit the publish button. Okay, it's the big one. Hit publish. And just a heads up here, you know, it, this is going to be the web address, Mr. Avell's chemistry class. And then, you know, they'll give you a whole, you know, a whole bunch of stuff here. And it says, who can view my site? Okay. You're going to click manage here. This is important. So it says, who can view my site? Okay. 
and right now it says anybody at teachings education so right now it has anybody in my domain now maybe I want to go and change that and I want to make it you know public to the world or I just want to share with somebody you only want them to view okay you can enter students names here are the links you can change it okay so it says publish I can click this here and I can make it public so that's anybody can see it okay I can again make it restricted you know, I can remove the link so that nobody can see it for now I'm just gonna click this one here it's really up to you okay remember if you make it public anybody can see it I will make it public for now because I do want to show you something real quick before we finish I'm gonna hit done notice I press public and you see right here where it says search settings it says request public search engines to not display so what this is basically saying is that when somebody types in a chemistry class just on a general search thing um, it, it really won't pop up so you might want to click this here so it's really like you know it's not easy for people to find publish and that's it you know your you, you know your website's gonna be live so um, you know we're finished here uh, I'm gonna provide a link to some like templates uh, you gotta give me a second though I gotta find them and things like that it'll be in the description and it'll be uh, you know it'll be in the description but it won't be for a while I have to find where it is and I want to touch it up a little bit and so maybe it'll be there a little later on but uh, anyways thank you for staying with me for the, for this uh, uh, Google Sites training the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be on uh, Google Arts and Culture which I thought was a lot of fun alright so I'll see you later